Do you remember anything else about Joe Dunn and Bobby Yale's argument? No, not, uh, not really, no. Only Joe yelling. If you do, I'll call off the fight and kick you out of the gym. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. Not all folks are as open-minded as Dunn. I happen to know who painted the lockers. Arthur Tucker. I knew it! I knew it was him, that bastard. I'm gonna whip the white out of him. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, you remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Dunn's room had quite a view. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah, uh, no. <coughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Hey, pal, how about thanking a good-looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> <coughs> I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. It's just that I don't want to make it... You don't want what? What? Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, okay, I understand. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> the government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons. <laughs> Lodging, hookers, drugs. <clears throat> Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. 
You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare <clears throat> war. War. Every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaign get gets richer and, and richer and richer. And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. That is what I did, my loyal disciple. At the Million Star Hotel! <laughs> so, you like your master? Great. Hey, what's your name? You never told me... Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find Bobby Yale. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? and Joe Dunn an item? And there it was, Mary's birthday, a week prior to that very day. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? All right. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. Hmm. I never would have taken Dunn for a gun owner. A few bucks. Just petty cash.
Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning, he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So, Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. Dunn and the gym's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Life is often off key, like a bad song. The notes come together but feel flat, unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. You look tired, John. You look pretty tired yourself. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. John, you all right? Can we just talk about Dunn? Okay, no problem. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. Even if it was lying on top of this table. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah, sure, good idea. If you'll excuse me. Hmm. 
Interesting. Now that I think of it, I better eat at home. It's healthier. Thanks. Truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now? Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I'll try, but sometimes there's no alternative. All right. In any case, keep me posted, will you? Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. As always, Smirnov had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. something. What? Happy birthday. I just found out it was a week ago. Oh, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. I'm sure you received wonderful presents. For example, your date of birth used as the combination for Dunn's safe. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? Can I get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. <laughs> 